dancing on ice viewers tuned in to see Melody Thornton be the next celebrity contestant to be eliminated. After a skate-off against former X Factor star, the Pussycat Dolls band member was voted out of the competition by the judges. And whilst the show is hotting up as it heads into semi-finals week, a behind-the-scenes secret has been revealed. Earlier today, Dancing on Ice's correspondent Kim Sertine appeared on ITV's This Morning to discuss last night's show with Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby. During their conversation, Kim explained how the show had introduced a new member to the crew to a role they have never had before. Philip began explaining. This is the first time we've ever had a cameraman on the ice. Dancing on Ice found Jordan on Instagram, to which the Love Island 2017 winner added, he used to be a part of USA's ice skating team. He went from that to catching all the videos on ice and it's such a niche thing what he does, you wouldn't think you could skate and film, Kim continued as this morning viewers saw footage of Jordan in action. Holly then contributed and said, I always think, if he gets it wrong and accidentally bangs into one of them and ruins it, the pressure on him to get it right and to be in the right place at the right time. Well this is the thing. You think it's hard enough getting the right camera angles when you're live. Kim added and Holly interjected, and in focus. As you guys know, but to be on the ice with them, while the celebs are performing and sometimes they get it wrong, they slip. They go the wrong way, he's got to be in the right place at the right time. And I caught up with him and it was really interesting him saying what he does and how he does it, Kim commented. The studio camera then cut to a pre-recorded videotape of Kim alongside Jordan backstage at Dancing on Ice. He asked the professional, were you a skater before you started filming? To which Jordan confirmed, I was, Team USA. Last year, we didn't have you on the ice with us. When I think about it, I would be nervous having someone with the camera, skating alongside you, but they all seem to do it without being scared at all and it's honestly amazing," Kim remarked. Back in the studio, Kim added, I think he's made the show better, to which Philip confirmed, he definitely adds a new dimension to the show. This is the first time we've ever had a cameraman on the ice. Philip on this morning. Meanwhile, Z Nelson scored the first 10 of the series last night. However, just hours before he and professional ice skating partner Vanessa Bauer took to the ice for the live show, they suffered a terrible fall. Whilst rehearsing for the evening, the pair attempted the Detroit lift, whereby Z lifts Vanessa horizontally into the air whilst simultaneously spinning around in a circle. However, whilst practicing the lift, he failed to get the correct grip and when lowering Vanessa into his arms his skate got caught and he ended up losing his balance. The images released by ITV saw the pair crash to the ice, whilst both were attended to by medics, they had to take the lift out of the routine. Dancing on Ice returns next Sunday at 6pm for the live semi-finals on ITV.